Throughout the centuries, artists have loved to represent the beauty of flowers in art. Today, we're going to draw some flowers and use this lithograph by Pablo Picasso as our inspiration. It is called Bouquet of Peace. Observe it carefully. Look at the shapes, the lines, the colors, and the childlike simplicity of this work of art. Hi friends, welcome to Art with Soto. What we're going to need for our project today is a paper tube, some crayons or color pencils, scissors, and a little bit of tape. We're going to start out by squeezing our paper tube and drawing a flower pot, leaving a little bit of room at the bottom. Then we're going to draw two lines somewhere above the bottom of the flower pot. Then we're going to turn it around and continue those two lines all the way to the back. Now we're going to draw a rectangle back here. You see that? We're going to cut that rectangle out. Now that extra piece of tube that we have, we are going to use our tape and tape it securely and tightly at the back. That's going to give us a little more drawing room. Once you have that taped very tightly, you're going to cut those two little pieces that are left over on the back of the paper tube. So that it can open up wide like that so that we can draw on it. Now squeeze it down, flatten it, and even bend it up a little bit so that you have an easier time making your drawing and coloring. I'm using a white pencil to draw because I can see it very clearly and I can cover it with other colors later on. But you can use anything you want to draw. I'm going to draw my first flower overlapping on the flower pot. That way it looks like there's a flower hanging over the flower pot. Then I'm going to continue drawing flowers all around and thinking about where they overlap. How can I make them look like one is in front of the other? And then the fun experiment begins. How will my color pencils or crayons work on a paper tube? I noticed that Picasso used primary and secondary colors for his flowers, so I'm gonna use the same colors. Then I'm gonna color my flower pot and my table. Then I'm going to start layering other colors on top to see what happens. Let me see how this one works. Ah, that's kind of nice. But I think I'm going to use my white on this side of the pot over here. That works. And I think I'm going to use a darker color on the other side of the pot to make it look like it has a little bit of shade. Then I'm going to see if my white works on top of these colors. And then just keep experimenting. I'm going to make two little flowers on the top, kind of like the ones we saw in the Picasso painting. Then I'm going to use a black color pencil to add a pattern on my flower pot and to make some outlines of my flowers. Now I'm going to cut out the negative space, that is the area that has no flowers. The corners are tricky to cut out, so the way I do it is I start by cutting one side of the flower and then turn it around and cut on the other side and the piece falls off. See, you wanna see it again? Cut on one side of the flower, take your scissors out and cut on the other side and the piece falls off.
Be very careful here at the end. You don't want to cut your table. Again, where there's a corner, cut one side first, then the other, and the piece should fall out. And we're done. Well, actually, I don't like those two little flowers up there. I think I'm going to add some more color. Now, this was just color pencils. I wonder what would happen if I combine color pencils or crayons and markers. I wonder what kind of flowers you're gonna make with your experiment.